Good afternoon, everybody. This is Lacobus. Welcome to our new playlist, Sim Signal <laughs> Signal Simulator. Uh, so basically, we are in search of extraterrestrial intelligence. Um, I have played a little bit here, just to kind of get get to grips with the controls, so you guys didn't have to watch all that. But let's get it started. Let's get it started. I want to find some aliens. How are y'all doing this afternoon? I'm so excited for this game. I've watched a couple people play a little bit of it, and I didn't realize how disturbing the sound was. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and sit in the chairs. The uh, the tips in the tutorial are over here on the upper right hand screen. It says, access the sky scanner from the laptop on the desk. Analyze and search for signals. Wait until the anomaly is analyzed or it will be lost. All right. So. Uh, lots of information up here on the screen. And I don't know what it is. By the way, you right click to uh, zoom. Okay, so let's, first things first, you all know me. Perfectly coordinated timing there between the two of us. Okay, so we need to access the laptop. The scanner, there it is. Okay, left mouse button to scan. I know from experience that you hold the left mouse button to scan. And there's our signal down here somewhere. There it is. I think that's it. That's going to be it, right? So, there it is. Okay. Analyzing. Okay, you don't have to do anything while it's analyzing. Just let the system do it for you. 93. Got it. Okay. So now we need to scan up and down the electronic waves to catch the signal. Basically, it's just uh, A and B. Oh, signal detector. A and B to find it. So, we have the signal analyzed. It's safe to exit now. Now, we need to go to this little guy. Uh, it won't auto scan, so we gotta do it ourselves. So, Q and E. E to increase, D to decrease, or Q to decrease. Then you wait for the frequency locked button. You see it just above the knob there. When that glows green, grab it. That's your signal. That's your frequency, sorry. Should have gone the other way. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay. So, uh, use the antenna control to rotate the antennas that is located right of the information panel. I think that's the information panel. And we want to... Oh, we have to turn it on. Oh, we have to turn it on here. Okay, Q and E. Okay, now it's on. And you can see over here we're getting a running average. This is so much easier. The videos I watched, these guys had such a hard time. Okay, the azimuth calculation, the minimum, this is how I do it. The maximum there showing me is 248.4667. So I am going to go ahead and increase this. Uh, it might be quicker to go this way. 248.667. Oops, jeez. Okay, 245. It's going to go to 249. Now we need to get that, get our antennas moving. They're all on. So let's get it moving over there. You can see them rotating. There's the azimuth that's rotating to it now. And if you look on here, this is a camera that's on one of your antennas. And I'm not sure which one it is. But you can see that's an exterior view of where we are currently, physically located. Up there is a window. You can kind of see them rotating there as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get the elevation started. The, av the max elevation is 89. The minimum is 62. So whichever we are closer to, we're closer to 69. So 
we're going to go ahead and increase this to 67, 68, 69. Now, when it gets to the azimuth rating of 249, it will stop changing the azimuth, which is basically, you know, very basic terms, it's horizontal, left, right. And the elevation will then start to kick in. Oh, I should have done minimum maybe on the azimuth 209. Let's try that. Hopefully now it will go to 209, which is closer than uh, the two, 249 we had it at earlier. So this is this is the waiting part of the game. You can increase the speed of your um, you can increase the speed of the the antennas with upgrades that you pay for with money that you earned by locating signals. So, you know, we're just going to, okay, so I'm kind of changing my mind here. We're going to go with the elevation that it says to try. You can see it on the, on the right hand side again. So let's look at this and it says to go to 75 just because I don't want you guys waiting forever. 75. Stop that, and then 229.2. Okay, get it started again. Okay, so it's just going to basically go right directly to the signal. And here in the screen, you can see directly in front of us is our azimuth and elevation signal strength. This is again a huge improvement over what had been the process. The, the red bars will light up with green as you get a stronger signal. It really helps you narrow down what you're trying to do. And as our azimuth increases towards where it's supposed to be, you'll start to see that green light. Once it passes it, you know you have to go back, or, you, or if it doesn't go all the way up and then start going red again, it means you need to go a little bit further. Maybe I'm not describing <laughs> Maybe I'm not describing that in the best terms, but uh, you'll catch on when I start doing it and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. I haven't learned how to edit videos yet, so y'all are going to sit with me through this. I will learn, however. I will learn. This game's going to force me to learn. You guys don't want to sit through all of this. But we're at 210 now, 211. So we're getting close to the 229, getting closer. I can definitely turn that signal off now. We know we have it. I do want that audio on and that audio on. Okay. Oh, there's our... So it's pointing nearly to us right now. Yep, there it is. Okay, see the asthma strength, how it went up there? Now we're changing the elevation. And we'll adjust the asthma strength to get it even stronger. I want to get to the elevation strength, though, so that... Uh, the elevation spot, so that we can play with that as well. That's 75, so we're still 30 degrees away, but we'll get there. Charge efficiency is crap. Well, it's nighttime, so that's or getting towards nighttime. Well, it says daytime, and we're still at... Yeah, we got to fix that. The, the tutorial will walk us through there, though. So when I don't have the tutorial, I'll go um, telling me which elevation and azimuth to go to. What I'll do is I'll go to the closest reading to where my antennas are pointing already. So let's say it says the maximum is 229. I'll go to 229 and depending on the strength and where it's at I'll drop 10 or increase 10 and then watch the strength bar. Oh look at that. That's You can't get any stronger than that on the elevation. Oh, that's beautiful. 
Okay, let's go with the azimuth. Let's drop it just one. Oops. For right now. Let's see what happens to the signal. Okay, so it's downloading the signal. And that shows up over here. Uh, download speed is 3.95 megabytes per second. That's pretty good. We could still fine-tune this signal, though. See how all that red that's still left there? I know that it's down a little bit. Maybe I don't know. I'm going to leave it. Let it just do its thing here. Oh, it stopped. Oh, let's go back up a little. Okay, yeah, quit messing with it. It's going. <laughs> All right. We're only... Oh, do you hear the signal? Let me turn this off. I'll turn it back on. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, we're downloading. Uh, we're downloading a signal. Will gives gives you more information about that signal. I'm going to go ahead and write this form. You will earn credits that you can use to upgrade your system, install modules, or buy consumables for techs like the tracking system or the generator. This is downloading really slow. It's only at 18%. That's okay. So let's look at let's look at the upgrades. So you can increase the speed of your azimuth, not by much, but by some. You can increase the speed that your antennas elevate. Uh, this increases the range that your antennas will detect. Reduces the con consumption of electronics. So you need to buy electronics in order for your tracking system. They're, they're, it's like a consumable. Um, and your tracking system consumes them so that you don't have to mess with the frequency tracking like we had to do. Uh, it automatically does it for you. Coordinates, coordinate detection system accuracy increase, so it reduces the uh, range of the coordinates. The buffer, coordinate detection buffer increased. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, cooling. Okay, so your your servers generate heat. Buying this upgrading decreases the amount of temperature generated by your servers by 2.5%. This increases your download speed. Uh, modules reduces the maintenance cost when using modules. We'll get into that. Recharge it increases the solar panel recharge rate, which keeps your system efficiency up, which makes everything easier. Uh, the efficiency this inc this helps the uh, it lowers the energy consumption of your system by 2.5 percent. The generator can boost your energy in case of um, low light si extended low light situations. And this increases the energy boost by 2.5%. We did that, we did that. This decreases the chance of your power going out by 0.91%. Calibration, antenna calibration error. So um, your antennas have to be calibrated so often. And this decreases the frequency of it as far as I can tell. And the energy distribution. Um, helps boost your energy to your system, I think. Okay, let's see where we're at on the, the download. 55%, so let's take a look at some other stuff. Modules, and I'm not sure. Um, faster download speeds. There, there's a drawback to using the modules, though. So your current maintenance, it doesn't cost anything to maintain your download prog your download this is a negative 10% credit income okay so you lose 10% of your credit income by using this module I don't like modules this is look at the tech okay the fuel required for the generator you can store fuel it doesn't cost very much um, but your generator will use that fuel obviously Electronics, these are the uh, consumables you need in order to track the free radio frequency itself. Uh, transmitter, so you can actually send on any random signal, you can send a message back to that location. And it costs these transmitters. Uh, data analysis, 
So if you, you can further analyze a signal and there is a chance that you will find schematics for these modules. And this one's expensive, yeah, 100 credits. You can find, you can, you can use chargers that will boost your system efficiency. Um, I don't even know how to do that yet, but you can see that costs 100 credits. That's, that's a lot. Okay, so we're at 82%. Last thing I wanted to show you, the documents. This has, this is basically your help screen. This will give you information on all those systems. Okay, so we should be pretty close now. 86%, 87. This is taking a lot longer than it normally does. This is actually a really big file, the one, almost 1.5 gigs, so pretty big file. That's what our mo outside monitors are looking at. They're looking at the sky. 93%, we're getting close. Be interesting to find out what kind of credits we get for this one. Nine to seven. I do love the sound of this signal though. If you look at that clock, that, uh, so that's actually the time here at where I am. That's taking it from the computer, not local time, to the, not local to the game. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So this is the binary data, then it'll try to decode it. This is a big file. Just a bunch of random words, and I did not see how many credits we got. So we'd have to look in the laptop. Uh, so let's do that real quick, and then I want to continue with the tutorial. So we received, it looks like about 62 credits. So we're going to look at all that later. Um, okay. All the systems are consuming energy. Let's turn that off. No, let's keep that on. Um, you can disable some of the systems, like the coordinate detection system. Okay, let's turn that off. Antenna detection system. Or even the outdoor lights. And some system efficiency is most important of all. The higher it is, the better the systems will work. So our system efficiency right now is 100%. Uh-oh. Your charge efficiency was dropped at 50%. Oh, no. Outside the observatory, there are solar panels that will recharge your systems. I'm trying to find the where you can read it. Okay. At daytime, every solar panel has a control panel where you can start the cleaning system. Cleaning the solar panels will increase the recharge rate of your systems. Go outside and start cleaning system of the solar panels. Go outside and start cleaning the solar panels. Okay. So, let's go on out. Oh, let's take a look. See, this is our little kitchen personal area. Through there is the bathroom. Okay. All right. Let's go outside. So, this is your alarm system too. You can uh, and you can turn off the lights in here as well. That helps your power use as well. Okay, so if you click on here, you can either F or left click. That turns on your alarm system. You can uh, turn off the alarm system. Actually, it just locks your door. Okay. Um, that's your outside lights. They're off right now. Okay. Um, some games are just really good at transferring that feeling of being completely alone. This one does that really well. Alright. What are those lights? Hmm. Let's go over to our solar panels. And I'll show you two ways. See, this is still the old tutorial where it says every solar panel has its own. We'll show you those first. Okay. Let's go over 
over here. Or do they not still have their own? They do not have still have their own. Okay, so they took all those off. So each one of those, you used to have to walk down each one of those and clean them. Now you can walk over here. Do I have a flashlight? I do. L for your flashlight. Um, this cleans all of them. Do you see that bar sliding over? So that just cleaned them. Okay. So the solar panels are efficient in sunny days. It, if it is raining, the recharge rate will drop with 30%. I don't know if it means it will drop by 30% or if it will drop to 30%. Uh, if you have the resources, you can compensate by turning on the diesel generator. The generator requires fuel to run. It will increase the recharge rate of the systems with a maximum of 50%. Okay. When fully upgraded, the base start of the generator is 25%. I think it means to start, when you first start out, it has a, it boosts your energy by 25%, but you can upgrade it until it boosts it by 50%. Okay, I think that's what it means. Because I'm safety minded, I'm gonna lock that door. Maybe it's because I'm a chicken shit, but I can either confirm or deny. Why did I turn off the lights? Ah, let's lock the door. There we go. All right, we're gonna take a look at that clipboard in a little bit. Okay, so we found a signal. Um, oh, let's keep following the tutorial. There is something wrong with your servers. Use the server terminal to diagnose the problem. Type help to see all the commands and try to solve the problem. You can access the terminal from the laptop or the server racks in the server room. You can also access the terminal from every antenna. If the server has any errors, the download and antenna detection system will decrease with 50%. By 50%? All right, so let's access the server. Well, let's show you both ways. This is the server room. I still don't know the use for this. I mean, you can turn off the power to the antennas, the server, or the coordinates. you can steal power from one area to give it to another otherwise it's distributed even okay didn't know that okay so this is the terminal this is just admin and so we want to do diagnostics main server timed out this is the I've seen this error a lot so now you guys can access the help terminal yourself, but basically reboot fixes this, I believe. So we're rebooting all of the terminal, all of the servers at all the antennas, the whole bit. So uh, let's go ahead and check the diagnostics. Okay, so everything is good. Calibration. Now, if any of them are offset more than like 10 degrees or whatever, minus 10 degrees, you can go out to the individual antenna and recalibrate it. First, you have to put the antenna at zero azimuth and zero L or no, just zero azimuth. And that's going to that's going to turn. So all the ladders face the correct direction so you can get all the way up. OK, uh, is it check temp? Temp check. Okay, so that's temp check, and it does look a little high. So we're gonna go turbo. What that does is that, so the, the lowest it goes is 40 degrees. I don't know how high it goes, but turbo turns, boosts the fans in the server racks and cools it. 
as soon as the temperature drops to 40 degrees Celsius, it, they'll turn off. The, the turbo will go back to normal mode. Okay, and I think that's all we need for the terminal mode. Okay, terminal. But you can also access that terminal directly from your laptop. Right there. Okay, so using modules will increase some of the system stats, but will decrease the credits income. It will also increase the energy consumption. Modules are upgradable. To upgrade modules, you will need to download and decode a signal. We're done with that. After fully downloaded random signal, you can use the terminal to send a, a, back a message. There is a chance to receive another signal with a new message. So you, you keep scanning for, you're trying to talk to each other, right? Um, but you have to keep scanning for that signal. You can use the transmission command in the terminal to transmit, transmit a message. Sending a message requires transmitters to work. Okay, so let's go to modules. Um, is that what it was? No, it was tech. Tech is where the transmitters are. So we're going to buy 10. That's it, because I want to upgrade some of my system stuff here. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Well, we just got a random signal. Let's try it. No signal available. Okay, so it, it, we took too long. No worries. Okay. Um, use the terminal to check for calibration errors. If calibration error is higher than 10 or lower than minus 10, it will cause antenna detection problems. To calibrate the system, set azimuth to zero, go to the upper platform using the calibration panel, set the azimuth and the elevation close to zero, press calibrate to finish the calibration. Okay, so when you get up there, you want to set the azimuth and the elevation close to zero. Okay, okay, so you're going to set, oops, is that what I want? So what we're going to do is we're going to turn these on. We are going to set these to zero. And we'll get them started turning. So let's check the calibration now. And I wish you could disable this. Okay. Okay, so nothing's out of calibration, so we're good. We're good. And I think the tutorial's over. Let's stop that. Oh, let's stop that. Um, Okay, let's look at our system efficiency. 97.56. I don't know what we have on that it's... Oh, it's nighttime, so it's dropping. Uh, charge efficiency is also dropping because it's nighttime. Um, power consumption. Okay, so we're not generating any power, but we are using a little bit, so system efficiency is going down. Not a problem. Let's see. Let's go ahead. Okay, let's find another signal. This is why we're here, right? So let's scan. Okay, let's go up here and find this bad boy. It's way up here. We might hit the edge of the universe there. Okay, we're scanning, analyzing that. While, while we're removing the antennas, we'll decide what kind of upgrades we want. Let's check out where this electromagnetic wave signal is coming from. Right there. See if it's analyzed. Okay. Turn this bad boy on. Is it not? Oh, we need to find the radio. Yep, yep, yep. We still don't have any. Let's go find the signal. 
calculations. I like to wait for about 10 of them to get a pretty solid, there we go, 231. Let's go to 231. Let's get it started. Oh, that's not far away either. Elevation max is 89. Is that direction I want to go. Yes, it is. Oh, God. Okay, minimum is 191, so let's just drop by 10, get it started. See, I want, I'm looking for the, the green bar to start now. The green bar to, to climb. Okay, nothing on that, so let's go down 10 more. Moving the elevation. Son of a biscuit eater. Oh. Okay. Point seven two megabytes per second. That's not super fast, but I wonder if oh, I should have paid more attention to which direction these bars were going. Other way. What? Okay, we have signal available. The status is detected. It's coming from a sub brown dwarf planet. Radio wave emission. Okay. Do you hear that? Is that 
creeping, or is it just me? <gasps> see the lightning? I don't hear any thunder though, I just hear that radio signal. Whenever I get nervous, I reach for the coffee. It calms me down. I narrowed my uh, field of view on the options. I wonder if that was a mistake. 41%. Oh, the microphone goes for a ride. Look at that. Sorry about that. <laughs> Five percent, six. Oh, this is another big file. That's why. All right. You guys want to go outside and look at the lightning? I think I do. So not that way. I don't know, because I don't want anybody getting in there, anybody or anything. Oh, we need to buy some upgrades. That's right. That's what we're going to do. Okay, we, we got a little bit of tech. We don't need much right now because we're just starting. Azimuth, I think this is probably the most important one. You saw how slow it spun. Um, but... Energy efficiency. Lower the energy consumption of the systems. Energy efficiency is everything, right? It works better with the efficiency. So we're gonna we're gonna start there. Okay. Should we check the uh, system efficiency now? Where'd it go? Where are we? Okay. Eighty-nine percent. But again, that's because it's nighttime. Oop, ah, didn't want that. 87%, so we almost have it. I would turn the sound off on this, but then it'd just be you and I talking. I don't What's believe it? you're big. Roger, I don't believe all of that. 83 miles in altitude now. That's, that's actual NASA podcasts. That's, that's... I'm not nervous. You're nervous. <laughs> okay, maybe it's me. Ninety-nine. There it is. Okay, so we're down one. Oh, there it is. Did we get just like a hundred credits? I think we got. I think we just got like a hundred credits. Oh boy. Ah, uh, boy, here it is. Oh, okay, it's it's more gibberish. Module schematics downloaded. That is awesome. Let's uh, let's try to transmit. <coughs> That's why we bought it, right? Admin transmission. Can't type the same message as IGP did, right? Who are you? 
sending, sending, sending. Preparing for interstellar transmission. Message transmitted successfully. All right, uh, we can turn that off now. We can also disable this signal because we found it. We don't need to be tracking it anymore. Also turn those off for the system efficiency. Actually, oh, stop. Uh, okay. So, that, I thought that was like ambient. All right, All right let's see what uh, let's see what that did to our tech. Okay, so we had bought ten. That took three. Okay, okay, all right. Oh, so no, it didn't give me gave me like sixty credits. No, it gave me like forty five. Okay. Upgrades. So we did the efficiency once. Uh, yeah, let's do the azimuth. Okay. Oh, we wanted to see modules. We got a module schematic. so bad we just can't see anything or, or find any signals and we can boost it with uh, the generator the electronics will track things for us we still have we can transmit some more signals okay okay well folks I think I'm gonna call it here we did get through the tutorial that's awesome we're on our own now but we do have help from the um, oh, sun's coming up look at our sorry uh, charge efficiency is going down so they're, they're dirty but it's in the 90s so I'm okay with that system efficiency is climbing it's at 91 right now okay yeah so we're gonna call it here I appreciate y'all joining me I'm looking forward to continuing this series I love this game I may do a little off-camera again and you know we can jump forward in time a little bit uh, I'll try to record everything and keep what's interesting and get rid of what's not all right i appreciate y'all joining me if you like what i'm doing here please hit the subscribe button beat up on that uh, notification bell and i love y'all take care bye bye